Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, the 4 and 5 New Hampshire Wildcats travel to take on the number two ranked Savannah State Tigers, who are 9 0 on the season. But if you took a look at the overall rankings for the New Hampshire Wildcats, this is going to be the number one test of the season for Savannah State. Dave Sanders, 23 touchdowns, only six picks on the year. This team is absolutely stacked for an FCS squad. Franklin Perez, a lot of yards receiving and a bunch of touchdowns. Manny Murrow, 41 tackles. This team just really has a lot of talent all around the field on offense and defense. They are without their halfback today who has 820 yards and seven touchdowns, but look at this roster. Most of their players are in the 70s and high 60s. Take a look at their schedule. They beat Northern Iowa, lost to Central Michigan by three, lost to Maine by four, lost to Brown by six, beat Rhode Island, then Akron destroyed them, but then they beat Eastern Michigan and Wofford, so they had a lot of really close losses against some quality schools. I do have the Tigers winning this one, but New Hampshire is going to be a rough test for the Tigers. Hi everybody, this is Brett. Me as always, Lee Corso Street. We're going to enjoy great weather, and tonight's skis are clear, and the temperature is just right for the New Hampshire Wildcats skirts. It's been a great football season so far, and it'll only get better as the bowl picture comes into plate in the season. Here come the Tigers. The Wildcats look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing for the team is led by their running game. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you. I really believe I'm going to do it. Well, Coach, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's take it down to the field where they're ready for the coin toss. Savannah State favored in this game. They're in third and three situation, though. Paul Carroll, fullback wide open, and he's going to drop the pass. And the Tigers are going to go three and out to start things off. So we're going to see Sanders in this nasty offense. Second down and 12. Sanders, deep shot, left side, wide open is Perez inside the 25-yard line. Chris Numa getting beat. That is a rare sight. Third down and four. Stadium is erupting. The fullback gets the first down. Now the Tigers' defense has really struggled as of late, and they're going to allow a first down here to the one-yard line to Fenner. First and goal from the one, and New Hampshire play action to the end zone. Harris comes down with it for the touchdown. Just like that. Less than three minutes into the game, New Hampshire on top. MJ Gator Jr. right side. That's the 30, actually taken down at the 30 in the open field. 22 yards today for him. Carroll going to throw off his back foot. He's picked off by Smith. That's the middle linebacker, and Smith is going to have himself a pick six. Oh, my. And New Hampshire on top, 14-0. Savannah State shooting themselves in the foot early. High snap, Carroll is dropped. He is sacked back at the 17-yard line. My goodness, offensive line got absolutely destroyed on that play. Third down at 17. Carroll trying to find somebody open. And he's going to be sacked again. No help from the O-line today. And I don't have any quotes today from head coach Seth Maddox or anybody else. I just, I'm rushing through all these commentaries uh, to get all these videos out for you guys for week 12. I'm actually recording this commentary on December 19th, and Perez is going to have himself a punt return for a touchdown. And New Hampshire is on top 21-0. They're shocking the world right now. 45-yard punt return for a score. In the first quarter, they're down 21-0, guys. Evan Barber gets a toss. Jigator Jr. hasn't really done anything crazy yet. Nice run, nice stiff arm, second down and one. And Jagator Jr. up the middle, first down and more. Explodes to the 47-yard line, first down. He's got 40 yards now. And J.J. Barber in at quarterback on the option, picks up eight yards. Second down and 12, MJ Gator Jr. left side, picks up the first down. Fourth down and two, J.J. Barber is in there, he's gonna scramble around, and falls forward, picks up the first down. The Tigers need a score here as the end of the first quarter has arrived. It's 21-0, New Hampshire is winning, folks. And Jay Gator Jr., left side, nice block by Jarmel Lewis. Actually, that was Zay Jones. 
MJ picks up eight yards. They're gonna throw it out to him right side inside the 10 yard line and dragged out of bounds at the two. Defense doing a good job keeping him from breaking a big run, but he is gonna score here. And that is MJ's 26th touchdown run of the season. Sanders to throw. Over the middle, wide open is Hill. He slides for the first down catch. Second and four, Dave Sanders gonna go quarterback draw up the middle, first down and more. Cody Lee Jr. forces a fumble, but it's recovered by Macklin, and unfortunately for the Tigers, he is on New Hampshire. They're down at six. Sanders hit as he throws, picked off by Chris Numa. That's his eighth interception on the season. Dave Sanders has injured his arm on the play. Hopefully he's all right. Second down and four for the Tigers. Carroll right side, connects with Matt Meeks. That's his 23rd catch on the year. He's now over 400 yards. And Jay Gator Jr. carry right side, first down. Carroll to throw again. Pump fakes. And throws it deep down the middle, and he's picked off by Rutledge. He wanted to find MJ Gator Jr. Could not connect with him. And that's his second pick here in the first half. That gives him five on the season. Weeks, back to quarterback, and he connects to uh, Harris, the tight end, for the first down. And tack on five yards. Score is 21-7. Left side, Numa falls down. Hill is in the open field, and Cody Lee Jr. can't get him. And there is another touchdown. 56-yard touchdown pass. That was all the receiver. Chris Numa, why did you leave your feet right there? And Cody Lee Jr. could not get to him. Oh, my word. Absolutely incredible performance so far for New Hampshire. On top, 28-7. to Their backup quarterback's in. It doesn't even matter. And back deep to return is Zay Jones from about two yards deep in his own end zone. And he'll return it up the right side. Follows his blockers up past the 40-yard line, past midfield. And Zay Jones will have himself a kick return for a touchdown, his third of the season. Makes it a two-score game. Hampshire, New Hampshire goes three and out. And we're going to see Schmidt with a nice reception here. Carroll only 40 yards passing, two picks here in the first half. And he's pressured and picked off again. Richard has it. And Richard is going to have himself a pick six. 35 to 14. There's one minute to go. Jeremy Carroll has been benched. J.J. Barber's in there. Options out left side. Pitches out to M.J. Gator Jr. They get a first down. They're trying to get on the board before the half ends. Barber, nice way to evade the defender. Finds M.J. Gator Jr. up to the 44-yard line. Barber to throw again. Rolls out far left side, and he's going to take off and gets the first down, and that's going to stop the clock. They do call a timeout. Second down and 10. Barber rolling out right side. Takes off again. First down inside the 20. Down at the 14. Seven seconds to go. Barber left side wide open. MJ Gator Jr. explodes for the touchdown. That'll get him back within two touchdowns here with one second remaining in the first half. My goodness. What a game right now. Tigers on the verge of being upset by the 4-5 and five New Hampshire Wildcats. That's going to end the first half, 35-21. The 9-0 Savannah State Tigers struggling on the verge of losing. Dave Sanders back in at quarterback. He's going to go draw first play. Picks up 8 yards Lee on the tackle. Second down and 2. They toss it out to Cruz. He's going to pull up and throw it. And down the field is Perez on the reception. Sanders to throw again. Hill with a nice catch. Nine-yard pickup. Fourth down and one. Sanders. Pressured. Throws it deep. And he finds Fenner, who beats Rayshon Griffin for the first down. Sanders again to throw it to the end zone. Deflected away by Cody Lee Jr. Seven hurries today. No sacks for this defense. Sanders to the end zone. Overthrows his target. And New Hampshire will send on the field goal unit for a 40-yard attempt. The kick is up and good. One of the best kickers in the country. 10-play, 55-yard drive. Tigers down 17. J.J. Barber is still in at quarterback. He is rolling around far right. Oh, my goodness. What is going to happen here? Nothing good as he is picked off again. That is Smith on the interception. Fourth turnover of the game. That is Smith's second pick of this game. Third and 11 for the Wildcats. Deep down the field, Lee Jr. with a nice defensive play. Forces another field goal attempt, 46 yarder. The kick is up and good. Wildcats now on top, 20 points. 
So the Tigers have been down 21 points twice today and now 20 points again. Evan Barber gets a carry. First down, 11-yard pickup. Jeremy Carroll's back in the game. J.J. Barber wasn't getting it done either. Here is Zay Jones. Nice reception up to the 35-yard line. Third down at 10, though. Carroll pressured. Throws it deep down the field. Matt Meeks in the end zone. Comes down with it for the score. They needed that big time. For that score, they will be down by 13 points. Absolutely incredible game so far. 41-28. Dave Sanders deep pass left side as Perez beats Chris Numa, who's having a rough game so far. Third down and 11. Sanders over the middle, caught by Harris, but he is short of the first down. Tigers get the stop they need. They get the ball back. Jeremy Carroll throws in. He's picked off again by Smith, the middle linebacker. You are kidding me right now. He returns it up to the 14-yard line. That is Jeremy Carroll's fourth interception today. He now has seven on the season. What a pick. Oh, my goodness. That was intended for Zay Jones. Third down and five. Defense needs a stop, and they get it. Not the best pass in the world. So they're going to have to kick another field goal here. That's going to make it 44-28. And the kick is up and good. So it is 44-28 with 35 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. MJ Gator Jr. gets a carry left side. First down and more. Runs a man over out of bounds. Carroll to throw. And he's going to chuck it up right side. And he finds Schmidt. And Schmidt is going to find his way to the end zone for the touchdown. 63-yard touchdown reception. Jeremy Carroll now with 25 touchdown passes on the year. And that was a beauty. Slinging that tater out there. 44-34, they're going to go for two points. J.J. Barber has Zay Jones wide open. That was way too easy, and they are down eight points. Last play of the third quarter. Dave Sanders right side. Ewing deflects it away, and a great play. That'll end the third quarter, 44-36. Tigers not out yet. They have the ball. MJ Gator Jr., left side, past the 40, the 30, and he's going to break three tackles, and MJ Gator Jr. is going to score. That is a Heisman moment right there folks my goodness what a run I never thought that he would score after I saw all those defenders converging on him they need two points to tie it up though JJ Barber in there again and he's gonna take off this time and he has it this game is tied up the Tigers were down 21 points twice and 20 points once and they have come back Cody Lee Jr. forces a fumble he recovers it himself and he has a scoop and score. The Tigers take the lead. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. What a hit. Jars the ball loose, scoops it up. He says, get out of my way, Chris Numa. This is my touchdown. I want to take the lead for our team, not you. What a vicious hit for Cody Lee Jr. His third force fumble on the season, his first ever fumble recovery, and he scoops and scores. He also only has one pick on the year, and that was a pick six. And the Tigers get a stop on third down and three with another hurry. Trying to run the clock out now. MJ Gator Jr. picks up seven or eight yards. This game is absolutely outrageous, guys. Oh, my goodness. MJ Gator Jr. picks up the first down. He's got 181 yards rushing today. The Tigers just run this clock out as much as possible. I know there's some drop frames in this game. It's so irritating. MJ Gator Jr. toss play right side and at the 40-yard line gets tracked down. 2.20 to go. Third down and two. MJ Gator Jr. toss play dropped in the backfield so the Wildcats will get another chance. As the Tigers punt the football away, Gator Jr. player of the game for the Tigers. Smith player of the game for the Wildcats. Three picks and a pick six. Dave Sanders, quick pass right side. Cruz is dropped. And fourth and 11 has arrived. Dave Sanders throws it deep right side on the sideline. Fenner has it for the first down. Oh, my goodness. Second down and 20 after a holding call. Sanders right side. He's picked off by Thomas with 45 ticks left on the clock. All the Tigers got to do here is get a first down, run this clock out, and the most absurd game of the entire season will come to an end. But can they do it? 
Over with the Wildcats. Get a stop here, and then possibly score and tie it up. MJ Eater Jr. is going to get the first down, though, up to the 43-yard line. Wildcats only have one timeout left, and the Tigers are just going to keep running the football as MJ picks up another first down, and the Wildcats call their final timeout. What a game, guys. I hope you stuck around for the whole thing. I do apologize for, for some drop frames. It's my computer. It's apparently trash. And that is the reason I have dropped frames. But a heck of a win for head coach Seth Maddox. Jeremy Carroll, four interceptions today, but led his team back for the win. J.J. Barber came in there, played pretty good. But he did throw that pick, his first of his career. Oh my goodness. My heart rate is way up in the skies right now. MJ Gator Jr. had a Heisman type moment. With that touchdown run to tie things up, that was ridiculous. One of 11 on third downs, New Hampshire, and two of seven for Savannah State. Crazy stats today. Look at that scoreboard. Complete opposite. New Hampshire had all their points scored early. Savannah State scored all theirs late to come back and win it. And that forced fumble and fumble recovery, scoop and score for Cody Lee Jr., the most clutch defensive play I think I might have ever seen. Jeremy Carroll sacked twice today. 220 yards rushing for MJ with two touchdowns. JJ Barber had 53. Evan Barber had 36 and a broken tackle. No fumbles today, so that's good. MJ Gator Jr., 75 yards receiving as well. He's almost at 500 yards. Matt Meeks with a touchdown. He has four on the season now. Matt Meeks with three pancakes, too. My goodness, I hope you guys enjoyed this game of the week, man. Absolutely crazy. Only one more video that I have uploaded so far. I'm in New York right now. Actually, currently doing this commentary, I'm in Florida. But when you guys are watching this, I'll be in New York. And hopefully, in the first couple weeks of January, I'll be back in my home that I own. And I'll have internet back and everything and I'll get back to work and get week 13 and the rest of season one to you guys and then we'll be able to start our North Carolina Tar Heels dynasty and our Atlanta Falcons franchise as well in NCAA 03 and Madden or NCAA 04 excuse me and Madden 04 respectively Smith Richard Perez plays the game for New Hampshire MJ Gator Jr. of course Cody Lee Jr. craziness the next game for the Tigers, they travel to take on the South Carolina State Bulldogs in the ACC. That's a great game. South Carolina State will be ranked 23rd when that game comes around. They're not ranked right now, but they do win this game right here against Hampton. But that's going to be it for Week 12 games. I'll see you guys tomorrow with our recap. Take it easy.